Make sure you subscribe to the new Line of Judah Prayer channel. Click the link in the description. God is almighty. He can do great wonders and show great signs upon the earth and in the lives of those who trust in him. However, we can by ourselves restrain the hand of God in our lives. You see, you are the only one who can withhold God's mighty hands in your life. Your spouse can't withhold God's hand in your life. Your children can't. Your enemies can't. Even the devil can't withhold God's hand in your life. Sometimes we see the devil as a very powerful being, but the devil is not as strong as we ascribed strength to him. The truth of the matter is that we might cause more harm to ourselves by restricting the hand of the Lord over our lives than the devil. This year is strategic. It hosts a lot of great things. For as many who will press for it, the Lord will not withhold anything from us this year if we are ready and willing to pay the necessary price for them. What price are we to pay? Someone may try to ask, hasn't Christ paid all the price for us on the cross? Yes. Christ has done his path, but you must be committed to seeing the realities of his finished work in your life and endeavors. You can only get all the spiritual and physical blessings God has in store for you if you commit yourself to asking for it. This is not the year for you to block your angel, but the greatest tragedy here is that many of us do not even realize that we have angels working for us and with us. Hebrews 1.14 says, Are they not all ministering spirits sent forth to minister for them who shall be heirs of salvation? You need to realize that God has dispatched his angels to work with you and for you. If only our spiritual eyes will be opened to see we will discover that many of the angels assigned to us are dormant. Why? It is because we do not at least acknowledge them. Angels are ministering spirits. They are sent to minister to us. They help to protect us at all times and guide us from evil. Psalms 91, 11 through 12 says, For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. God has already given his angels charge over us. What you need to know is that your angel is strengthened as you pray. Remember what Jesus says about the angels. Matthew 18, 10. Take heed that you do not despise one of these little ones. For I say to you that in heaven, their angels always see the face of my Father who is in heaven. In Daniel chapter 11, the Bible relates the account of how Daniel put angels to work by his consistent prayers. The greatest way to engage your angel is to pray consistently. Daniel had been praying for 21 days. He did not stop his prayers until he got answers to them. When his angel finally came to him in Daniel 10, 12, he said, Then said he unto me, Fear not, Daniel, for from the first day that thou didst set thine heart to understand and to chasten thyself before thy God, thy words were heard, and I am come for thy words. Just like the prayer of Daniel caused the coming of an angel, your prayers can move your angels to action concerning your situation. This year, you must not give up on praying. If Daniel had given up praying, he would have waited in vain. Sometimes it seems our prayers are not being answered. 
Little do we know that a whole lot of events are going on in the spirit realm. The angel who came to deliver God's message to Daniel told him that his prayers were answered from the first day he began to pray. Did you hear that? His prayers was answered from the first day he began to pray. There is a supernatural power in prayer that puts fear in every demon of hell. Are you in a hopeless situation? Are you casted down and forgotten? Are you at your lowest point? Are you under pressure? Has the battle of life pushed you to a corner? Don't forget you have a God in heaven who the winds and waves obey, who created the heaven and earth, who holds the seven seas in the palm of his hands. He is the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, the first and the last. Ask him for the great and mighty things because our God is able. The God who knows the end from the beginning the God who specializes in hopeless situations. Don't forget you have a God in heaven who answers prayer. Ask him to open the floodgates of heaven and to close the gates of hell. Ask him to give you strength when you are weak. Ask him to separate the Red Sea like he did for Moses and he will. Ask him to walk with you through the fire and through the rain and he will. God cannot answer prayer until you offer it up. Pray, pray, and pray again. You know in your own personal life that God answers prayer. All you need to do is look back at your life and you will see God answering prayers. Maybe not your prayers, but your mother's prayers. God still answers prayers and one of many avenues of answered prayer is through angels. The angel who came to deliver God's message to Daniel, told him that his prayers were answered from the first day he began to pray. But the prince of Persia, who is the territorial force at work in that region, fought the angel from coming to Daniel. However, Daniel was persistent in his prayers until God sent reinforcements to support this angel. If you have been praying, but you are yet to see the manifestation of that which you are praying for. It does not mean that God has not answered your prayer. You only need to be tenacious. You don't need to give up or throw in the towel. Pray until something happens. If nothing has happened, then you have not prayed enough. This is not the year for you to block your angel. With everything going on in the world, this is not the year for you to block your angel. We have to get into real prayer this year until that which belongs to us by right is fully claimed. Oh, you do not know what is going on in the spirit realm about the prayers you have been praying. You do not know the warfare that your angel is engaged in right now in the spirit realm. What if the answer to your prayer has been waylaid by the enemy, the devil? You need to get into the business of prayer and fighting alongside your angel. You really need to get fired up now more than ever. Don't relent. Don't give up. Your testimony is almost here. Prayer is that spiritual weapon we must all arm ourselves with. The battle line is drawn and we must not refrain with prayers. Our victory is guaranteed. Matthew 18, 18 says, Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever ye shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. It's time to bind and to loose. There are circumstances and situation in our lives that ought to be bound, and some ought to be loosed. Nothing will ever get loosed until you get it loosed. And nothing will ever be bound until you get them bound. It will cost you your time. Prayer will cost you. 
It cost Jacob his hip and walked the rest of his life with a limp, but by God was he blessed. Do you not think Jacob felt like quitting? Of course he did, but he didn't because when you feel like quitting, that is when your breakthrough starts. You have to reach such a point of desperation that you are willing to get your breakthrough, no matter the cost, no matter the pain, no matter how many sleepless nights, no matter how many times you get knocked down, you have got to get up. Prayer is not easy. You have got to fight to pray. You have got to fight for your breakthrough. No excuses, put in the work and you will get out what you need. Now let me ask you, are you willing to pay the cost? Prayer is the way to release your blessing, but it comes at a cost. So pray, pray, pray until you get your answer, until you get your blessing, until you get your breakthrough. This is not a laughing matter. This is serious. This is a fight. This is warfare. Pray like never before. Your prayers will not only affect you, it will also affect people around you too. Never give up until you see the substance of what you are praying for. Unfortunately, many people gave up praying for their breakthrough if they don't see instant results. Make sure you subscribe to the new Line of Judah Prayer channel. Click the link in the description.